the way they've met each other and the way they've known each other is one of mutual support. Um, his needs and her needs match up in a certain way in this world that they've created together or that they're a part of. This whole world seems to be about people who have a lot more past than they do future, in a way. They have that in common. And um, they've made peace, or that's the goal, is to make peace with what your life winds up meaning. I've always been a huge fan of Matthew McConaughey's. I think he can do anything, and he's very generous. It turns out I get to work with him and find that out. So that was just a pleasant extra gift to have wonderful memories of working with somebody. Duke is the man of the ocean. Uh, man of the ocean uh, does not know how to swim, or any, but he's knows the ocean like his pocket, right? Um, he's, um, he's just um, a good man for deal, bigger deal, which is uh, Matthew McConaughey's character. They are partners uh, in crime, um, they're fishermen. Uh, um, always work together, uh, very, um, they're very understanding of one another without necessarily having to speak uh, or having to use words. That's my boy. It's um, getting reacquainted uh, and uh, coming together again to tell you know a, a nice uh, wonderful story it's uh, yeah it's exciting i'm happy to be uh, to be working with him again i play karen zariakis who is a woman in a desperate situation She's trapped in um, a toxic and abusive marriage to a man named Frank. And things have gotten so desperate that she has no other choice but to try and have him killed. The movie is about so many things. It's about compulsion, it's about love. It's about um, revenge and, in some ways, forgiveness. He has the whole story inside of him. So anytime you have a, a, a question, if there's a knot that you can't quite untie yourself, not only does he help you untie it, but you get the backstory, you get the logic, you get the through line, you get the, the inspiration for it. Um, which is just invaluable to the process. Karen has watched her life slip away from her over the last 10 years of her marriage. Um, she married a man for security and he turned out to be a monster. So I think where she's at right now, she's not hoping for, um, for anything grand. She's not hoping for any romantic stories. I think she just wants to get back to stability. The woman comes back, Karen, uh, my ex-wife, just shows up out of nowhere like a ghost, and calls me by another name. Uh, and she has a very uh, 
indecent proposal for me. She says, you know, you were right, I was wrong. She's telling me it's their 10th anniversary. He loves to fish. I found this place and I found you. I want you to take him fishing tomorrow morning. And I, when you come back to the dock, I don't want him to be on the boat any longer. And if you do that, I'll pay you $10 million. It's really well written. And Stephen's very commonsensical and calm about how he goes about everything. So he put together a great script, one that I found thrilling, and one that I said, ooh, when that's a film, that's what I want to see. Well, we have Miss Hathaway who came out, who's really a damn fine actress. It reminded us of that daily, and a complete pro. Um, it's our second time to work together we, since we worked in Interstellar. Um, Working with Jim and Hounds, who again, he and I worked in Amistad. It's really a nice kind of sort of homecoming for us after 20 years. Um, got to work with Miss Diane Lane, uh, who I've always been a fan of and have had my fair share of crushes on. Um, and she was great to work with. I mean, she was so really glad we got, that was the last part we cast. And um, it was one of those where we feel like, well, once we got her, that's, probably who we wanted and needed in the first place. For Baker Dill, the, the lead character, there was sort of one choice for me. Um, I think Matthew's the best there is. Uh, Baker Dill needs to be slightly heightened, needs to be larger than life, he needs to be um, a sort of character that doesn't give of himself too readily. Someone who's closed down, closed in. And I thought that was Matthew. And then, you know, because of the nature of the twist, I wanted beautiful people uh, for everybody to be beautiful. So there, Anne is a great actor and, and, and is also beautiful. Um, Jai Mun's character is based on a real person as well. He was the, the first mate on the boat I went out on. And so I sort of... He, he reminded me of Jaiman, so uh, that was an obvious casting. And Jason is just great in everything he does, so, and he's, I needed this sort of energy, this life force, and that's what Jason has got. I'm also interested in the idea that um, choice and free will, it's impossible to resolve whether we have it because once you've made a choice, that's it. And that choice was, was it always gonna be there or did you choose it? And it's, it's, it's the idea that um, a, a, a human soul, if you like, you know, goes from birth to death and in that journey, there are all sorts of things colliding with it, like a, an atom with, with things that, uh, colliding and knocking it and moving it around and circumstance and everything is a chance in 10 billion. Everything that happens is, such an unlikely scenario. I wanted to take a character and throw him into a world where, to begin with, he believes he's making the choices and slowly wonders, begins to wonder, actually, am I making these choices or are these choices being imposed upon me?